Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this Thoughts of the Day. Um, as you can see, you've got two of us today um, doing the Thought of the Day for the 26th of October. Hope you've had a good weekend. Um, the reason why you've got two of us here today is because I want to do something slightly different. Um, it is still part of our Thought for the Day, but after recording um, Monica's talk the other day on the Lord's Prayer, I wanted to do this bit of drama thing um with you it's a bit light-hearted um considering that the clocks have gone back and the nights are darker and we're now coming to another lockdown i thought it might be a bit of fun just do something slightly different today try and cheer you up a little bit so bear with um and see what you think let me just get rid of myself our father who yes Yes. Don't interrupt me, I'm praying. But but you called me. Called you? I didn't call you. I was praying. Our Father who art in heaven. There you, there you go, you did it again. Did what? Did what? You called me. You said, Our Father who art in heaven. Here I am. What's on your mind? But I didn't mean anything by it. I was, you know, ju just saying my prayers for the day. I always say the Lord's Prayer. It makes me feel good, sort of like getting a job done. Oh, all right. Go on. Hallowed be thy name. Hold it. What do you mean by that? By what? By hallowed be thy name. It means, um, it means, oh, good grief. How should I know what it means? It's just part of the prayer. By the way, what does it mean? It means honoured, holy, wonderful. Oh, well, that does make sense. I never thought about what hallowed mean, meant before. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. <laughs> Do you really mean that? Of course not. Why not? What are you going to do about it? Do? Well, nothing, I suppose. I just think it would be rather good if you got control of things down here the way you have up there. Have I got control of you? Oh, I go to church. That isn't what I asked. What about that bad temper? You've really got a problem there, you know. Oh, stop picking on me. I'm just as good as some of those hypocrites down at the church. Excuse me, but I thought you were praying for my will to be done. If that is to happen, it will have to start with ones who are praying for it, like you, for example. Oh, oh, oh all right. I guess I do have a few hang ups. Now that you mention it, I probably could name some others as well. <laughs> so could I. I haven't really thought much about it until now, but I really would like to cut out some of those things. I really would like to know how to be free. Good. Now we're getting somewhere. We'll work together, you and I. Some real victories can be won. I'm proud of you. Look, Lord, I need to finish this up here. This is taking a lot longer than usual it does. Give us this day our daily bread. You need to cut the bread, cut out the bread. You're a little overweight, a bit like that Rob guy. Hey, wait a minute, what's this? Here I am doing my religious duty and all of a sudden you break in and remind me of all my faults. Praying is a dangerous thing. You could end up changed, you know. And that's what I'm trying to bring across to you. You called me and here I am. It's too late to stop now. Keep on praying. I'm interested in the next part of your prayer. Well, go on. Um, uh, I'm a bit scared to. Scared of what? Well, I know what you'll say. Try me and see. Forgive us our debts as we also have forgot forgiven our debtors. What about Peter Brown? Oh, see, I knew you would bring him up. Why, Lord, he told lies about me and he cheated me out of some money. 
I swear that I'll get even with him. But your prayer? What about your prayer? Well, I didn't really mean it. Well, at least you're honest. But it's not much fun carrying around the load of bitterness inside you, is it? No, but I'll feel better as soon as I get even with him. Have I got some plans for that old Peter? You won't feel any better. You'll feel worse. Revenge isn't sweet. Think of how unhappy you really are. But I'll change all that. You will? How? Forgive, Peter. Then I'll forgive you. Then the hate and sin will be Peter's problem and not yours. You may lose the money, but you will have settled and be settled within your heart. Well, it doesn't sound very easy, but deep down, I suppose I know it would be worth the effort. Thank you, Lord, for helping me work through this. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. You see, we did this sketch to show that sometimes we pray things. And if you listen to Monica's message tomorrow, we do pray things without really thinking about what we're saying. And sometimes, you know, we pray and ask for things without realizing what we're asking for. And God is really interested in us when we pray. As much as we listen to him, he listens to our prayers. They go up towards heaven. So whether you're feeling low at the moment, pray to him because he's listening. Whether you feel excited about some good news you had, pray to him because he's listening. Whether you're feeling lost and lonely, pray to him because he's listening. And that's God ringing up Monica now. <laughs> God's ringing up to find out why she, she's not doing her prayers properly. And you know what, Monica, we're keeping this in. <laughs> Sorry about that. But seriously, prayers are so important. Prayers change things. Prayers move things. Prayers are very special. We are very special as Christians to have the opportunity to pray. And I know that people from every religion pray, but that doesn't make them any more of a Christian. But by praying to God, asking God, as Monica did in the story, to forgive us you know if somebody has done us any wrong it's only us that are laying awake at night thinking about it if somebody's hurt us it's only us that are staying away thinking about it the other person's probably forgotten about it and what we need to do we need to hand it over to god and say god help me to forgive that person and it's not always easy i remember doing a whole prayer thing years and years ago probably 10 15 years ago and there's just one person was on my list of people i need to forgive and I said, I can't forgive them. And it was like, well, you can't forgive them yet, but you need to, to be able to move on. And by the power of God's love and grace, I was able to forgive that person and eventually move on. And then I found the release. Not them, but I found the release. I don't know what happened to that person. When you pray this week, pray to a God who is listening. Pray to a God who's, who's attentive to what you have to say and cares about every bit of your life hope you enjoyed today I hope it was something a little bit different like i say monica is talking about the lord's prayer tomorrow in her talk so join in for that as well but have a really good week and let us let us actually should we pray there our father now our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Have a really good week. Enjoy yourselves. Don't forget on Sunday at St. James's, we've got the bishops. So if you are wanting to come along, please let people know um, so we know what kind of numbers we're having. We're having Bishop Keith with us. Um, different services taking place during the week. Songs of Praise are happening on Tuesday, 7 o'clock, so join in for that. Um, but look, keep, a, keep an eye on the notice sheets because there's a lot of things going on between now and, uh, well, beginning of Advent, which is here very soon. Speak to you all soon. God bless. Bye-bye. <laughs>